Things are moving at a dizzying pace tonight as the streetcar funding debate is heading into its final hours. One new wrinkle, Metro wants to take on the responsibility of paying to operate the system. We have team coverage tonight, beginning with Nine on Your Side reporter Tom McKee. He's live with whether this would work. Tom? Well, Carol Metro thinks so. Mayor John Cranley doesn't, and he wants $80 million in operating funds guaranteed by Thursday. Metro says it's confident that fares and advertising and sponsorships and added taxes could do the job. Streetcar operating funds would be the responsibility of the Metro bus system under a plan unveiled Tuesday by CEO and General Manager Terry Garcia Cruz. There's always risk, but I'm, I'm confident that collectively there's a vision to move forward and make Cincinnati a better region. And the Metro leader vows it won't come at the expense of regular bus service. However, Mayor John Cranley says he's not buying that promise. The research is out there and shows that in all, in all cities that combine bus and, 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 and uh, streetcar service that the bus routes are cut uh, in favor of a streetcar. As of right now, council is leaning five to four against resuming construction of the now paused project. It's like if you were building a house, you wouldn't build a house that you're going to move into next year, but not have the money or know how you're going to pay for your electricity or your heat or your gas or your sewer. This proposal that is before us from SORTA has no teeth um, and that there aren't any prominent funders that are going to write a check in 24 hours for the streetcar. Lots going on here in the last couple of days. Council has to make a decision by Thursday night or the feds could pull $45 million in funding. So tomorrow we should get results of that independent audit. The public can comment at 1.30 before the council meeting tomorrow. On Thursday, the final two meetings, the streetcar committee and council meet in special session to wrap things up. Now the Hale Foundation is behind this Metro plan and my colleague Amy Wattis has what they're saying about their last ditch efforts to keep the project on track. Amy?